Hi everyone. One of the most influential discoveries in modern physics is the invention of chirp pulse amplification. It has allowed for the shortest, most intense laser pulses ever created by mankind, revolutionizing the field of laser physics and numerous other fields, including chemistry, material science, astrophysics, biology, and many more. It was invented by Gerard Moreau and Donna Strickland in 1985, and it was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2018. Many credit Theodore Maiman for the invention of the laser in 1960 when he demonstrated coherent stimulated optical emission in a ruby laser. A few years later, cue switching and mode locking technology allowed lasers to generate short, intense pulses of coherent light. This decreased the achievable pulse duration, but for nearly 20 years, the peak power or energy per pulse barely changed. Many attempts to increase peak power were hindered by damage to amplifier media and other optics in the laser. Chirp pulse amplification utilizes an elegant approach to solve this issue. In this method, a short pulse of light is stretched in time by several orders of magnitude so that the average power stays the same, but the peak power is decreased. This is done by generating chirped pulses within which different wavelengths of light arrive at different times. Inside the laser, this is accomplished with a pair of gratings which diffract different energies of light so that different wavelengths arrive at different times. This serves to reduce the peak power per pulse. The stretched pulse is passed through an amplifier where its energy per pulse increases, but the pulse length is long enough so that the peak power does not cross the damage threshold of the laser's optics. Then the pulse is compressed back to its original duration, again with a pair of gratings. After the amplification and compression, the peak power can be dramatically increased. Following the publication of this technique, laser technology made several significant leaps. Very shortly after CPA was presented, a nine-fold increase in laser peak power was demonstrated in an ND glass amplifier. Tabletop terawatt T3 laser systems emerged in addition to titanium sapphire lasers, which were able to create pulses shorter than 100 femtoseconds. A femtosecond is one millionth of a billionth of a second. This opened up the world of ultrafast science, which is widely used in laboratories across the world to study processes on timescales of attoseconds to nanoseconds. It has enabled the elucidation of a number of phenomena, from molecular vibrations to photosynthesis to electron motion in atoms and molecules. In the Cushing lab at Caltech, we have a titanium sapphire legend elite duo, which is able to produce 38 femtosecond pulses at a rate of 1,000 times per second. In each 38 femtosecond pulse, 13 millijoules of energy is delivered, providing an average power of 13 joules per second, or 13 watts. This produces a peak power of 342 gigawatts. That's more power than an average nuclear plant produces in a day. Looking inside the laser, you can see CPA in action. Here we can see the pulsed seed laser. It enters the laser head, and passes through two gratings, seen here on the right and the left. Once the pulse has been temporally stretched or chirped, it enters the amplifier. Each round trip in the cavity allows the pulse to pass through the gain media, where it is amplified in power. Then it passes through another set of gratings, compressing the pulse to 38 femtoseconds with a much higher peak power. Now it can be used for experiments. <laughs> 